What's going on guys? Gamer King Tar Heel here and we got some more Borderlands 2 gameplay for you guys. This is going to be about the first three boss battles. This is mainly because I think they look really cool, but there might be some strategy also. If you guys have any strats that you guys use on these uh, that worked really well, please leave comments below so they can help everybody out. So the first boss we're going to look at is Knuckle Dragger. And this is kind of like an abominable snowman yeti type creature. He's pretty much your trial boss to make sure that you know how to use a mouse and keyboard before you continue playing the game. There's nothing really complicated. You want to use the old ancient technique of shooting him in the face. Uh, it's a really good technique. I think you should use it often in this game. It tends to work really well, but all you really need to do is just kind of run around. He will charge at you. Uh, he'll throw some shit at you, and you just shoot him in the face and uh, continue to pop, and eventually he'll die. It's it's really, you know, like I said, it's just a standard trial boss to make sure that you know how to use your mouse, you know how to use your keyboard before you advance in the game. Next up is Boom and his brother. Now, this is a, a little bit more complicated than the previous fight. There's going to be ads as well as Boom, who's going to sit in a giant turret and shoot large weapons at you, and his brother's going to kind of come out. So I like to kind of hide in this corner where I don't have to worry about the turret, and you only have to worry about the other guys coming, and you can pretty much focus on single-handedly taking out his brother, Boom. His brother will jump up in the air and, and throw some stuff but he's not too hard just shoot him in the head repeatedly and he'll eventually fall and then you'll need to focus on the turret and so you just shoot at it and eventually it'll explode and then the brother boom will come out and then you can pretty much take him on pretty much the same way just shoot him in the head he will lob a bunch of grenades at you so you just kind of want to avoid the explosions and if you ever fall down try to make sure that you have a weak ad around you uh, that way you can kill him and get your second win and jump right back up now the last boss we're going to look at today is captain flint and i recommend for him getting a sniper rifle at the beginning so you don't have to worry about him lobbing uh, his explosives and his grenades you can just take out all of his enemies with a sniper rifle and then he'll jump down and after that we're going to need to get a little bit closer now when captain flint jumps down he can actually be pretty difficult so you don't you want to avoid the fire at all costs he's going to cause lots of fire he's pretty much impervious to damage while fire while he's on fire so you want to avoid hitting him on fire and the fire can do a ton of damage to you and it, it lingers for an extended period of time now the way i beat him is once the fire ended and he stopped being on fire i'd run up with a shotgun, my most powerful weapon, shotgun style weapon, and just start blasting him. Uh, yes, he'll do a leap, yes, he'll do a knockback, and yes, there are ads, but it didn't really matter because if he actually killed me, the ads are so weak that you can easily kill them and get your second wind and then kind of repeat the process. So whenever there was giant flames and he was on fire, I would just kind of run around and hide, recharge my shield, and then when that ended, I would just run up with my shotgun, blast, 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 and if I went down, uh, it was really easy to get your second wind and go up, and he went down pretty easy. If you are struggling with that, there is a glitch where when you respawn, I don't know if it's a glitch, it's actually pretty obvious. Once you respawn, you're able to go back up to the platform where the vending machine is, and he will be down there, and you can literally just pew pew him with unlimited ammo as long as you have money from the vending machine, and you can take him out that way. Well, that's it for the video, guys. If you guys want to see more Borderlands 2 boss battles, if you think they look cool, if you have better strats, go ahead and let me know. Please leave me comments, hit those like buttons, hit those sub buttons, and I uh, hope to have some more videos up uh, later this week. Thanks, guys. Take care. As always, bye.